Hi guys, and welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palska International Nail Artist and Educator here. And today we are going to create, you have ask, actually asked me about this design, a snow globe. Uh, so we can have a wee preview in here. Yeah, and this is what we are going to recreate it. I hope you would really enjoy watching this tutorial. Let me know down in the comments below what else you would like to see in this channel. So I'm able to produce those beautiful designs for you. Let's start. So time to start the snow globe and I've got my tip ready in here. So I'm just going to buff it. To give the scratches. And then remove the dust. Okay, on my mixing palette I'm going to prepare the colors which we are going to need for this design. And this is going to the, be the paint on French gel, the foil design gel, the blue, the purple. Oh, I want to do the purple, the blue, red and yellow. So with this color, we can create any kind of color. Uh, and that's why I love like, I mean, you've got five gels and you can paint anything like with all these colors. So I'm starting with the white, which is actually almost at the end. <laughs> Cameraman is laughing. I've got it, I've got it, look, I've got it. Ta-da! I didn't lie. Look, I've got a brand new one. <laughs> but I want to use this one. There is still lots of like, I mean, it will last me for another two, three, four designs. <laughs> okay, so I've got my paint on French gel. Then I'm going to need, to, because this is going to be a Christmas tree, we need to have a nice and beautiful uh, green. Yeah, so to create a green, we need some blue. So this will be for the green. And then I need some blue to create a purple. Okay, so that's our blue. And then we need some red to create a purple. <laughs> this is actually a good lesson, guys, for you as well, like how to mix the colors. And I want some pink as well. And I want some red. Oh my goodness, I want too many colors. And then the yellow one. So the yellow one we need it because we need to create a nice green. Okay. And we also need some black. So that's my mixing palette and now I'm going to mix these colors, okay? So we definitely, actually I'm not going to mix them, I will start painting the first one. So I want to have like a pale blue. So pale blue. And I want some purple one. So for purple I have added just a drop of the red to create a nice purple. So you can see how easy it is to create any kind of color. We will be creating more colors, but let's start painting the first part so we can cook the design and then we can move on into uh, the next one. So I've got some purple and I'm going to paint like the snow globe. Okay, so it has to be a rounded shape. I also want a tiny bit of the top coat and the top coat which I'm liking to use uh, for the design is the soak of top gel. So the soak of top gel has an inhibition layer while the no wipe top gel doesn't have the inhibition layer. For, so for mixing I, I like the one with the inhibition layer. Okay and then I can easily shade the color like make it a sheer look because I don't want this to be too strong. I'm cleaning my brush and going into the blue now. The snow globe has to be a decent size. 
So basically, I'm just painting a um, circle from the shape. Okay, so we've got two colors. Now white and top coat, lots of top coat. And let that fade in. So I'm nicely mixing those two colors together. Lots of lots of lots of movements. Okay, so that's the first part of our design done. I'm going to give it a cure. And now we can move on into the next part and mixing our colors. So the main color we are going to need is green. I've got my yellow and the blue and I'm mixing them together to create a nice green. Okay. And in some places I want to have a darker green, so more blue, like a taily green. You can see that's a different shade of green. If I add a drop of black, I'm going to have another shade of green. Okay. And if I would add the drop of the white, that would give me another shade of the green. So I'm just going to do another shade of the green. That's why I love those five gels, because uh, we can create so many different colors with it. Okay, and now we are going to paint those wee Christmas tree inside our snow globe. So I'm going to start with the darker one. And what we're painting is just like a wee triangles. So wee triangles. Or actually lines. But first one is a triangle and then lots of, lots of, lots of lines. And the more on the bottom we go, the larger it becomes. Okay, you want those kind of messy look to it. Then I'm going to grab it a different shade and add a couple more lines. On the bottom of the snow globe, we want to have some nice stand. So I'm going uh, to pick up my black and paint the stand. Then color that in. Okay, you need to remember that the snow globe is rounded shape and the stand has to go in those rounded shape as well. I'm going to pop it inside the lamp to freeze what we already painted and prepare another color. So I've got my brush dip in into the black and I'm just going to add it into the white to create some gray color. A tiny bit of the top coat. And we are going to add a little bit of the um, kind of highlights into our stand just so it doesn't look as flat.
Okay, give it a flash cure. This is something which is hardly visible, but does kind of give it a more a 3D look to it. And we have to, of course, decorate our Christmas tree. So I'm going to uh, do some Christmas bubbles. In a red color. And a beautiful star right on the top. Now I'm going to give it a free skewer again. And we will start adding the snow into our snow gob. So free skewer. And lots of snow on this Christmas tree. So I dipped in my brush into the white because I need to clean it. Like when we're using uh, some colors like a red, you have to really properly clean the brush. So again, top coat and a white, just so the white takes over. There we are. And now we are going to paint lots of uh, snow. So the snow is like and kind of like a dots. And you want to really um, do it all over, like even if you have to cover some of those Christmas bubbles, doesn't, don't worry about it, because you want to make sure this Christmas tree is having a snow in there. Okay, the first layer of the snow is ready. I'm going to put it inside the lamp. And we are going to apply the next layer. First, um, adding a little bit more different tone. So tiny bit of the black mixed with our green. So that will give us more kind of 3D look. And I'm going to paint a couple more branches. Just so when I layer another um, snow, it will look kind of more 3D. Okay, give it a flash cure. And now we are going to add another layer of the snow. So I'm dipping in my brush in white, clean it, and now adding lots of more snow. So lots of lots of wee dots. So this way the tree looks more interesting. Okay, so we have added lots of lots of snow and now I'm going to give it a cure. And it's a time to uh, make our globe 3D kind of look. So I'm going to use the fiber gel and clear 
with tiny bits of the glitter. So the glitter I'm going to use is just this glitter and my gel brush. No, got too many brushes. Okay, I'm going to use this gel, uh, this brush. So I'm picking up a scoop of the gel and then put some glitter on my mixing palette. And now we are going to create those kind of uh, 3D look to it. Even more. Okay, so I'm just applying this on the globe. And I would suggest you build it up in about two layers just so it looks nicer and more kind of 3D. You could do a Christmas bubbles with this technique as well. Okay, so the first layer is ready and I'm going to cook it. Clean my brush. Pick up another scoop of the product. Because you wanted it to be really like a globe. So very decent amount. But make sure it has like this rounded shape to it. And what is great about it as well, the, the gel kind of uh, enlarge everything what we've got inside. Okay, now I'm going to turn my tip upside down, but let me cl clean this part first. Okay, turn it upside down just so we get those bulk of the product. just turning it upside down and I show you how it's moved so you can see it's more raised okay I'm going to put it inside the lamp to cure it and we still have to do some nice 3d snow like I want the globe to to be surrounded by the snow as well and I think that will look uh, super cool too but we are going to use the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel uh, now to do the sugar effect. So once my tip cured the snow globe, I might actually add a little bit more detail on the stand. So tiny bit of white. Okay, tiny bit of the white. Underneath of the stand, I want to have some shadow, so top coat, top coat, black, mix it well, and the drop maybe even of the blue, just so it's not too dark shadow.
I might actually use the bigger blush, will be easier. And quicker. So this is hardly visible. But it's just to add a shadow underneath of the globe. It's a bit time consuming because I don't want it to be too strong. But I wanted it to be there. Okay, I'm going to put it inside the lamp now. Give it a clear cure and then we are going to apply the top coat and finish it with the last part of the design which is going to be a snow. So I'm taking the high shine no wipe top gel and apply it like on the entire design. So I'm covering the entire globe. Everywhere. Especially that's the um, fiber gel, it has an inhibition layer. So you need to make sure the top part is covered because otherwise you will get the sticky layer and the next part of the design is not going to work. Okay, now I'm going to put inside the lamp and give it a proper cure. It has to be a 60 seconds cure. In the meantime, on the side, I'm going to put a tiny bit of this uh, high shine no wipe top gel because we are going to... Uh, create some design as well or actually I could do it with the paint on French no it's fine we do it with the paint on French so I've got it here and we do it with the indigo snow but you could also use uh, glitter as well it will look absolutely fine with the glitter too I'm going to use this one which is called white snow effect and we are going to uh, do those uh, 3d uh, 3d snow with the sugar technique so I'm just needing a couple seconds more cure and then I'm going to show you how to do this look. So getting my brush ready and we are going to add some snow. Okay. So I want the snow to be on the bottom of this design. So basically what I'm doing is um, just creating kind of like an V lines. So this is a snow, snow piles. I want a little bit of it on the top and here. On my snow globe. Okay, you want to kind of get it the snow messy way. And then we want some snowflakes going even on top of the snow globe. I think it's also going to show more of those 3D look to it. What else we could do is play, 
paint a slightly different snowflake, so maybe adding a couple of the lines so we don't have just the dots. And then another couple of the dots. The piles of the snow. And now I'm going to take this uh, sugar. So the sugar is just like a very fine glitter and sprinkle it. Sprinkle, sprinkle the entire tip. And because we have used the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel, the glitter is going to stick in only to the paint on French gel. And yes, I know it is a gel, but it doesn't need the top coat over it. Now, the look uh, it looks a bit messy at this stage, but we need to cure it first and then clean it, the excess of the glitter to show the final look of this design. I'm just going to tidy up all that. And you could create the Christmas snow, uh, the Christmas bubbles, this technique as well, like using a build your gel to, uh, to build up the volume into your design and then paint some white uh, designs on top of it. I have done it uh, last year tutorials with the similar kind of technique. And it looks absolutely fab. And my clients uh, was loving those kind of Christmas bubbles uh, created with those 3D uh, looks. So if you didn't watch it, just go back and check my Christmas designs playlist. And there is also one with the winter designs as well. Uh, yeah, so quite a lot. Actually, I might show you guys. I've got my stuff in here. They either on the way to be uh, published on the channel or they, they are... Uh, already on the channel as well if you are first time in here so so there is a we all uh, which i'm showing like step by step how to recreate it and uh, there are tutorials on the snails which i'm wearing the now and they are actually over three weeks old now uh, this wintery look as well super cool or like a snowflakes so lots of different um, great designs on this channel and if you uh, if this is one of the first videos you are seeing, just check the previous tutorials as well, uh, so you can learn quite a lot from that. And okay, that's this design ready, so I'm just going to take my brush and remove the excess of the product to show you the final look of the snow globe. So I hope you have really enjoyed watching these tutorials. Glittery hack and bye for now!